Hey guys, hey Alberto, Foro Flamenco. Um, I wanted to make a little video about my tapping technique that I do for tapping wood. Um, so the way you're doing it, Alberto, is not wrong. I mean, you can just hold it by the corner and just tap away. You can definitely get some sound and you can compare pieces of wood. But it turns out, um, not to get too technical, but actually holding it by the corner or the end inhibits a lot of the vibration of the board. So the technique that I use kind of takes into account these vibrational modes of a piece of wood. And if you've ever seen Claudney patterns or anything like that, I mean the same thing applies to just a, a raw piece of wood. It has points where, you know, for different resonances where it's vibrating and where it's not vibrating. So the goal with this is to kind of hold it at a point where you can hear some of those resonances a little more clearly. Um, and normally I'll just take the board and just kind of eyeball it and grab it, going for the points that I'm going for and, and tap. But uh, I actually have this marked out today. So you can see um, this one here, as I was talking about on the 4.0, this is a quarter of the way in from the end and a quarter of the way down lengthwise. So that's that point right there. Um, so this one, if you grab it right there, you can kind of, you can really hear more of the sustain and kind of the bass. I don't know if you can hear this at all on the video, but you get four or five good seconds of sustain there, and that's one of the things I'm looking for, mainly it's kind of the responsiveness and sustain of the board. The pitch doesn't really matter because that can vary depending on you know small amounts of thickness. <clears throat> but what I'm looking for to try to figure out you know if this piece of wood is going to be good for the kind of guitar that I'm making is more the responsiveness and the sustain. So when you're holding it just by the corner you can really tell there's just no sustain. It's just killed. But here, and I don't know if this is coming through at all in the video, but here, and you tap it right on the end, just try this, and you get a really good bassy kind of sustain. Um, so that's a good one to check. That gives you some information. And the other one that I do is halfway in at the center of the board so it should hang and a quarter of the way down again so this one you can get a lot of different tones out of this one but this gives you more kind of the attack a little bit more of the kind of trebly response and you can tap it in different places So, that's it basically. I mean, I encourage you to play around with that and see what kind of sounds you get. I think you'll find that it gives you a little bit more rich information. So, alright, see you guys.